Hi everyone, I'm back again with another plan with me video featuring a Weight Watchers menu planning. Um, of course, this week is the week of Veterans Week of November the 9th through the 15th. And so I thought I wanted to go with a little um, like patriotic kind of theme. Um, so far, the only ones that I found were like 4th of July, but I'll make it work and I'll just cut out the ones that I want uh, from these uh, 4th of July printables uh, just because they're patriotic. And uh, let me go ahead and go through the print, the free printables that, I, um, that I'm gonna be using in the video so that uh, before I cut them all up so you can see what they look like. Of course, you know, we couldn't be uh, doing a Plan With Me video without our favorite studio. This is from Vintage Glam Studio and this one is called the Red, White, and Blue. And like I said, this is a 4th of July. She has, she has 4th of July weekend. So, but I like the colors because it's all patriotic for Veterans Day. So I'm gonna be using it for that. And let me see if we can squeeze it up. There's a, And there's finally our little menu. So that one's really cute. I like it a lot. And uh, this is uh, one that I featured the last week. Uh, this is from Three Cheers Company. And uh, I'm not really going to, I'm not sure if I'm going to be using any of these, uh, these little squares per se. Uh, this is somewhat of a, like a happy birthday theme, but I really like this uh, weekend banner. So I'm probably just going to use that out of this one. Um, this one is a new blog that I just found uh, that has a lot of uh, free printables. And it's called Andrea Nicole Blogs. And... Um, I like all the cute little themes it's got. Um, this is like all nautical. It's nautical and also like, you know, red, white, and blue. So I'm going to use some of these um, things in my, the plan with me week. It's really cute and, it's, and I, you probably can't see it, but it's uh, got a lot of little anchors. And so I just really fell in love with it. And here's another one that I really like from the uh, Andrea Nicole blogs. And it's, of course, the hydrate stickers. And it's every single color that you can think of. And it's it's just amazing. I love it how you can coordinate anything you need. So I just love this uh, sticker. And it's got, you know, Sunday through, um, Sunday through Saturday. So this is really neat. And I really love it. There's also another printable that I found, and this is a new uh, a blog that I found. It's called Designed by Rochelle's uh, Scrap Scrap Craftastic. So um, this is really cute, and they're really um, the actual uh, designs. They're really big, and uh, I think they're specifically made for the Happy Planner because they're really um, there are they're bigger in design than the smaller other ones. Uh, if you notice, these are the other ones, and see how they're so tiny, and these are huge. So I think they're going to fill in the whole uh, space. But I will put the links to the rest of these other free printables, and uh, just look on the bottom of this video. You will have a link to uh, my blog post, and on my blog post, you'll see all of the links that are available where you can get these um, free printables for yourself. So now I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut out all the stickers that I need and plan my week. All right, see you in a bit. Already uh, jumped a few steps ahead because I'm trying to lessen the time on the videos. Um, I've already put up the um, weather for the week and I'm kind of disappointed. Everything, we're still in the 70s. Um, we're still in the 80s. You know, it, it starts out not even cool because um, it used to be that it was like in the 50s and then all of a sudden now we're, we're the day starts like in 70 degrees so we're we are in november for god's sakes you know, i still have yet to wear a sweater i have as yet to wear a jacket anything i'm like so disappointed in the weather but oh well what can we do so it, the weather states that it's going to be like raining a few days but it's just nothing really the temperature wise it's going to affect us you know as pertaining to meals so um we're just gonna disregard that. And um, I'm already ready to put everything on. I did want to mention that I did finish last week's, I did do actually last week's um, plan with me video. I did film it. But the thing was that I was super sick. You could hardly understand what I was saying. And I was not happy at all with the layout. Um, I was trying to, I was trying something new to bring out uh, to bring out where it said breakfast and you know and the snacks and the dinners I was trying to bring um, I was trying something new to bring them out but it kind of just really blended in and I, I was feeling horrible I was feeling sick 
Um, if you've uh, subscribed to my blog, uh, you've seen the post where I was, um, I just barely posted a few days ago that I'm just barely coming out of the, um, I was down with the flu or some kind of cold or a virus something, and I'm just barely recuperating. So last week when I recorded that uh, plan with me video, I was not feeling well. Um, so I'm, I just didn't uh, feel like editing it and I'm not going to upload it because I wasn't really happy and I didn't follow it at all. My husband came in on, I think on a Tuesday and um, I didn't even follow it. I felt so sick. I didn't exercise. I didn't do anything. I didn't even weigh myself um, this past Monday because I'm like, I'm not even going to do that to myself. I was super sick. I did not feel like, you know, eating. I couldn't even taste anything. So um, it was just really um, a tough week. But let me show you real quick what it looked like. Um, I was not happy at all. It was just like so many colors, like an explosion. Uh, but this is what it looked like uh, last week. <clears throat> Oops. I really like this little pumpkin theme. It was really cute. It had coffee. You can see it. I'm trying to move it up. Let's see. Um, there was like coffee it was really cute and but it was just too much and I was trying a, a new um, trying to like a heading system to bring out um, the actual meals and stuff but I didn't it ended up kind of blending into it and so I was not happy at all and I didn't even follow it and I didn't even open my the book because that was so sick and so I didn't even track or anything so that's why I'm, I didn't, I'm not even gonna upload that video because it was just a wasted week so that's why I'm going to go ahead and get started on this week. Okay guys, so I am done finally putting all of the stickers and I really, I'm really happy with the way that it came out this week. Um, I forgot to mention that the, um, the border was just an image that I found on Google Images. So right now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm just going to go ahead and pre-fill out uh, what I'm going to eat. Of course by now you know that all my breakfast is always comes out to nine points uh, for um, during the week. And then on the weekends, I add two tortillas, and that makes it 11 points. And the, probably the only different thing is the dinners. And of course, my snacks late at night are always one point with my yogurt and flax seeds. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill it out, and then uh, I'm going to come back and talk a little bit about it. Okay guys, so now I'm finally done writing down all my amounts and all of the, everything that I'm going to be eating for the week. Uh, let's go ahead and do a little quick run through. Um, let me see. So for uh, Monday is my weigh in day, but I did not weigh in this Monday because as I had mentioned, um, I was super sick, uh, I, actually for two weeks. Um, I actually got sick like towards the last part of the week prior. And so I didn't exercise like Saturday, Sunday. I didn't exercise those last two days, but at that point I was already, you know, not eating a lot. So by Halloween, I started already feeling sick. And I think what happened, and I, and I uh, talked about this in the uh, 
past video that I told you that I filmed, but I'm not, you know, uploading. Um, and that video, I was the first time that I ate Popeyes in like about a year or so. And it's been a really long time that I've eaten something that was just really greasy. Uh, mostly like sometimes uh, like when I go out to eat or I splurge or have like a little cheat meal, I'm always eating something uh, like, for example, when I go to Taco Bell on Mondays with my son, uh, there's always a lot of fresh veggies, you know, like the tacos and all that kind of stuff. They all come with lots of tomatoes and lots of lettuce and there's a lot of veggies on it, you know. But this one, it's been like, you know, a long time since I just had straight full on 100% grease. It was just, just the chicken and I had a bread and it was just like, I think it was too much for my system. I was not feeling well, like my, you know, stomach wise, I was feeling, you know, very bloated. I was just not feeling myself. Probably by Wednesday, I was kind of slowly coming around. And then by Saturday, that's when, that's when the, I got sick. I started getting like, you know, a sore throat and everything came. So I don't know if Popeye's was to blame or what happened to my system, but something just came up on me. And, uh, for, uh, for Halloween, I totally got sick. But um, so by then I had already stopped eating a lot. I, I was not eating as much as I as I did, and I did not eat my lasagna because I was already um, if on my on my Sunday. If you recall from my other videos, I it's my usual day where I you know eat lasagna, and I did not eat this because I was already coming down with a fever. So um, I think I ate um, a soup or something. So that day, um, the next day that I weighed in. And I was already coming down with it and I was, you know, but I, but I was like, I'm still going to go weigh in because I, I weighed myself in the morning. I was like, oh my God, I had lost a lot of weight. And I was like, I guess it was the cold medicines that, that did it. So anyways, that day when I weighed in, I was down, um, I was down 2.6 pounds, which brings me up a total of 168 pounds, 168.4 pounds lost. So, woohoo, yay, I'm so happy for that. So even though I was super sick, I still lost some weight. So then uh, as I was recovering, I was slowly coming out of it. Like I said, I made this, um, this plan, but I did not follow it at all because I was just like, I couldn't taste anything. I was not interested in tracking. I was, you know, on death store. I was super sick. I'm like, I'm not even gonna even open this. And um, I don't even, you know, I don't even remember what, what I ate because, like I said, I couldn't taste anything. So finally, today we are at, let's see, let me put these back in here. Let's put this back in our book because we are done with it. Today we are Tuesday and tomorrow is Veterans Day. Woohoo! And, um... So by finally, by Monday, I, I still went to my meeting. I was just feeling, you know, I'm feeling a little bit better, but I did not weigh in because I'm like, you know, I have no clue what happened and I don't want to stress myself out more because I know that I did not follow the plan and I just, you know, was not feeling well. And so then, uh, so I did not weigh in. So no way in. And uh, so today is Tuesday, like I said, and uh, I went out that day. I still do my routine. So even though um, I've said this before, even though I'm not weighing in, I still do my same routine for breakfast. I have some fruit. Uh, and when I get to, uh, to the meeting, I have my seaweed snack and I have my uh, like a, some strawberries or some uh, blackberries or uh, some kind of fruit. And so all of that comes out to one point. For dinner, I went back to Taco Bell because, like I said, uh, I had gone, I tried something new last week with uh, Popeyes and my system just did not like it at all. So this week, I went back to Taco Bell and I'm feeling just fine by today, which was today, Tuesday. I'm perfectly 100%, so thank God. And so um, on that Monday, I dug into 32 of my 49 points, which I've already tracked over here. I've tracked and then and I have 17 points left over and then for uh, for Tuesday same as breakfast remember uh, it's not the same exact food every day so even though you see um, if you're new to my plan with me videos and you haven't seen one before and this is the first one that you're catching just keep in mind that uh, even though it says nine points breakfast it's not the same breakfast it's always different uh, varieties of uh, fruits and veggies with egg whites but it's just that the points are always the same 
And also um, for dinner, something new that I uh, found uh, last week was was the day right before I lost my taste, which I'm so happy for um, that at least I got to taste it. And so this week I'm like, I'm going to try it again, see if, you know, I really did like it or if I was just getting sick. But no, I'm absolutely in love with it. And this is called non bread. And um, let me show them to you. These are the mini nons. And this is the full size ones. They're so cute. Can't even fit them in the screen. But this full size one, this is uh, garlic non bread. And this whole entire uh, one of these uh, flat breads costs you eight points. <clears throat> and on these, if you notice, there's four of them in here on the mini ones. And the mini ones are four points each. So, um, and these are not jumper items. So um, if you just get. So if you get two, it comes out to eight points. So that's pretty neat. And um, and they are so delicious. And there's a particular way that you have to prepare them. And so probably like my next video is going to be um, preparing these uh, a non meal. Uh, and it's, um, I made it with chicken and it is just so delicious. I put, uh, I make them like, I roll them up into like tacos. And um I make it with cabbage, with uh, chicken and cabbage and lettuce and salsa and fresh uh, tomatoes and onions. And it's just, oh my God, it's just delicious. And so I'm going to be making a video on this. Um, I was going to make one today for dinner, but I was just so anxious to eat it that I'm like, I'm not even thinking of a video right now. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. For sure next week, I'm going to get on it. But they are so delicious and please try them out. I found these at my... Uh, local HEBs, uh, but I have also seen them so many times at uh, at my Walmart, so check those out. They are so delicious and they're so buttery tasting. Well, at least to me, they taste kind of buttery. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna have on, uh, that's what I had tonight for dinner. Uh, and if you notice, uh, I had two of those mini non breads, which came out to eight points. Uh, the chicken, I had some uh, eight ounces of the chicken breast tenderloin and check out my video on how I prepare my chicken. Uh, it's called uh, the chicken food prep. So that comes out to uh, four points. Eight ounces of it comes out to four points. And I had some uh, buffalo chips, which I've mentioned before, and uh, those were three points. So all in total was 15. I have a snack at night, which is my yogurt with some flax seeds and chia seeds, and that came out to one point. So then, uh, if you notice, the total for the day was 25. And if you see up here, I'm still at 29 points. Uh, so if I had four, oops, I had four points left that day. And uh, same thing for breakfast here for Wednesday, Veterans Day. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have some uh, beef strips with peas. And I'm also going to add some mushrooms there. And I'm going to have some, actually some Cheetos. And so all that's going to come out to 15 points. And then the yogurt, of course, at night with the, with the fruit. And that comes out to one point. Uh, the whole total the same as the day before. I'm going to have uh, four points left over that day. For uh, Thursday, I'm going to have, um, let's see, for dinner, I'm going to have some salmon. And I need to make a video on this because it is so just delicious the way it is. And it's so easy to prepare. Um, in case you've noticed uh, my my actual cooking videos, I guess you can say there's, you know, I'm not a world-class chef or anything like that. I, mostly my cooking expertise, you know, um, consists of throwing things together and just cooking them really quick because I'm just always in a rush. I'm always trying to get here and there and doing all the things for my son, my, my, my husband, all this kind of stuff. And so um, I'm always thinking of just how do I save time? And this salmon dinner is so quick. It's so easy. It's just like, put it in the oven and it comes out and then the broccoli and um, this today I'm gonna make some salad with it usually I eat the salmon with the broccoli but today I'm gonna make a salad and I've, I've already uploaded my video on how I make my four-point salad um, so um, I'm gonna have that huge huge dinner and it is delicious with the salmon and of course all the health benefits that you get from salmon so all that's gonna be 11 points uh, all together and with the yogurt snack at night with some fruit uh, it's going to come out to 21 and then of course I'm going to have eight points left that day. If this is the first time you're catching a, a plan with me video, uh, basically what's in these little squares, 
what I can do with these points is I can either use them on dinner, like say I want to add more to the dinner, or at night I can add some snacks, like some uh, skinny pop popcorn or some pumpkin seeds or whatever, but I have all these points to play with at the end of the day. So this is why I'm just totally in love with this system because it shows me exactly what I have planned for the day and then what I can play around with. So this is so neat. Friday, of course, is my fries day. I'm gonna have a lean beef burger. So that's gonna come out to three points. The, my fries come out to six, the bread is two points, and the cheese is one. And so that's gonna come out to 12. A whole, the whole day it's gonna come out 22, and I'm gonna have seven points left over. For Saturday and Sunday, you're, um, for my nine point breakfast, I always add two tortillas, so that comes out to 11. And so for, um, for dinner for Saturday, I'm gonna do a melted roast beef sandwich. So that's gonna be delicious, and oh my God, so good. I can't wait to eat it. And of course, I'm gonna have some yogurts and fruits at night for snacks, and I have six points left that day to play around with, see what I, if I wanna add more to my dinner, or I wanna add something late at night, or maybe I wanna do something during the middle of the day. Whatever it is that I wanna use those six points, I can use them whenever throughout. And then of course, on Sunday, I always look forward to my lasagna. More so this week because I didn't have it last because I was really sick. So I can't wait to eat my lasagna with my cheesy bread. And that's going to come out to 12 points. Um, the whole day comes out to 24 and I'm going to have 5 points left over. So that's about it guys. This is my whole week uh, for November the 9th through the 15th. Of course my workout schedule is going to go here. And uh, we all know what it is, right? Monday and Fridays I rest. Tuesdays I do arm exercises and I do 30 minutes of cardio. Uh, for Wednesday I do um, just straight cardio all day, 50 minutes of cardio and then another 30 minute session. Uh, Thursday I do kettlebells and another arm. Oops, I do, I'm sorry, I do kettlebells and I do cardio. And then Saturday I do another arm weights exercise and I do uh, some cardio. And then for Sunday, I do um, abs and I do my cardio. And already, like I said, today's Tuesday. It's the first day. I've just did the arm exercises and the 30 minutes of cardio. I'm already so sore because I, I haven't really, I didn't exercise all last week. And I didn't exercise like a few days the week prior because, you know, I was, I was sick, you know, and I just really was not feeling well. So I am super sore right now and we're just barely on Tuesday. So imagine how I'm gonna be at the, dur during the end of the week. So I might have to cut a few, like maybe the abs or something because I'm already, just by walking, I'm already like my abs are already hurting. So, you know, that's what happens when you stop exercising, right? So I gotta take it easy. I don't want to just go all gung-ho because then, you know, I don't wanna hurt myself, so. But that's my workout schedule for this week. And of course, like I said, mentioned many times before, I, I don't tally up the amount of points that I earn for my activity points because I don't use them. It's mostly for me to keep toned and to keep active. And, and I do have my Fitbit connected to uh, my uh, Weight Watchers account. And I think on the average, it says that I earn somewhere around 20 some points um, a week or something so at least it offsets some of the uh, of the 49 points that I use so that's good um, okie dokes well that's it guys I am done with the week um, what I did differently this week was I got a highlighter and I highlighted the uh, actual breakfast snacks dinner so they could kind of you know come out at me so I can really you know just look and see what it is that I'm looking at and I I think I'm really liking it I was thinking also like of putting like a sticker that like went th throughout like that, but I just have not had time. I'm so in love with this system and it really does work. And like I said, I was so happy with that, with that result that I lost 2.6 pounds the other week, which was amazing. I'm so happy for it. And uh, so I'm hoping this week is a good week, but still, um, we'll see how it goes. So wish me luck this coming Monday and I hope this, the scale is my best friend. If not, well, I guess they'll, there's always next week, right? Thank you so much for joining me. I'm planning the week of November the 9th through the 15th with me. Uh, please hit the thumbs up if you like this video and you would like to see more videos like this. Also, don't forget to subscribe so, uh, to my channel so that you can get uh, emails every time I upload a new video. Thanks again uh, for being here with me. 
and I totally appreciate your time. Have a wonderful week. Bye.